uh, so today is a part two to the huge makeup haul we had just posted. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we will have the video linked down, down, link link down, down below. below. So basically what this means is we're doing a, a bit of a first impression. So a review of our first impressions of these products because we use them just now. Yeah, so all the makeup you see in our face is basically the products yeah, that we Yeah, I think I pretty much use almost every product that we I think already I did bought. Except for like a powder. This, so. Powder is the only thing I think I did not use. I used to buy powder because it's I didn't there. buy one. But yeah, so that is what we're doing. So we're going to start with the Pore Festional from the Benefit brand. This right here is Tiny Sample. And basically what it's supposed to do is just hide your pores and fine lines. So you can either do it before or after you put on your makeup. And how we did it is we just put it on our problem areas so where we think our pores are the biggest. So it's usually about right here on our yeah. nose, you know, a little bit right there. And I, I don't know about you, but right when I did it, I thought that if my skin already felt smoother. Mm -hmm. So we would say, yeah, yeah, try it out. I yeah. didn't. I did not like it. No. So we'll <laughs> say that. I did not like it. The next one that we tried is the brightening face primer from Benefit called from the That Gal, mm -hmm. I guess, brand. We've thing. actually, we've used this before. We had this from a previous Benefit trot sample that we've had. Yeah. And we liked it then and we like it now. So it's a standard primer. Nothing spectacular about it, but it's not... It does it's, it does it's not its bad. Job. Yeah. Yeah, so it does its job. Definitely good for us too. These two are not actually on that last video, so this is a bit of a new thing too, but I recently just purchased the Revlon's Color Stay Makeup Foundation and this one is an ivory. It's like the lightest color you could possibly yeah. do cuz we're like probably the wise people you've yeah. ever seen. And then I also got the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer, the little pencil thing or whatever. And I like them both. They both were a standard foundation. They worked well. Just the same. It wasn't too runny, anything like that. Do you feel like good coverage? Yeah, it feels like it's good coverage. It didn't exactly cover up blemishes. I had to use, of course, a second concealer for that. But what are concealers for if not to do that? But the thing I did like about these two products together is that I bought them in the same color. So they're both in ivory. So, you know, sometimes after you put on your foundation, it tends to still look a bit of a different color under your eyes. This helps with that and it makes it match completely because they are the same color. So that is one thing. If you have a problem matching your under eye concealer with your foundation, Revlon's Color Stay has them matched together. The next product I tried out was the Erase Paste by Benefit. And this is supposed to be a concealer. It's a brightening camouflage for eyes and face. It's not, it's not actually a concealer. It's a corrector is what it's supposed to be. And it said when I, I looked this up because I wasn't entirely sure what this did. And I said that it's supposed to, what, correct problem areas and yeah, other and eye just circles like, mm -hmm, and just stuff like that. Basically just make them match, and you know, I liked it. I think it does a good job. But the problem is this, if you can tell, the color of it, it doesn't quite go with my skin because it's a bit of an orangey-brown color, and I'm pretty pale. So I noticed a bit of a discoloration. So if you're pale like I am or you're concerned about matching, like, the color of your skin and foundation... I would not really recommend that. I did, however, find it's a, a different use for it. I started using it as a base of my eyeshadows. So if you still like that and you're looking for a good base, this works for that. But it doesn't quite work. Well, to me, it doesn't. I, I don't know. I had the very small Stayed on Stray eye primer sample here. It's super teeny. I actually have the big one. one. Yeah, I have the full The version. size difference is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. But what I liked about this one is that it is an eyeshadow primer. It's also a concealer primer for like under your eyes so I really like that because most of other eyeshadow primers don't do that no. so definitely if you want one that works for both your under eyes and your eyeshadow stay on stray from the benefit brand is for you yeah I really like it too I use that all the time that's my go-to like eye primer and I love it so I use it till it runs out so I'll give it like yeah, a week so I bet yeah mm -hmm. it works the next things we used are actually the blushes and I guess bronzer kind yeah, of yeah bronzer her. slash her dandelion Brightening thing, dandelion. So. Yeah, so, but these are both from the Benefit brand, uh, Positent, I believe is what this one is called, the Positent. And, um, this one I, I like, I always like Positent, um, brands like that. The thing about it is sometimes if you want a bit of a darker, more of a contoured looking blush, sometimes you may have to go over either a second coat of it or bring on a, a another blush is what I did. Um, so I used this first, blended it in. You gotta do it kind of quick because if you let it sit there for too long, it just becomes a line. And then I added this dandelion, which is about, what is this supposed to be? It's a brightening powder, but... So I added this dandelion, which is a brightening face powder. And as you can see, it's got a bit of a pink tint. It's kind of like a really light blush also. So you can use this as a blush, which is what I did. I went over it to give it a bit more of a color. But you could also use this as a brightening face powder. So if you want areas that you just want to brighten up, dandelion. Yeah, and my blush was 
This is Benetint, Tint, which is actually like more of a red, a darker blush. Mm -hmm. And I liked it, but the only problem that I saw with it is that I had to at least do it, you know, two more times maybe, just so I could really get it to be seen. I mean, you think it would show up darker, dark but it, is, but no. it really doesn't. I because I think it, it comes off on your me. fingers. Yeah. Like as you're like trying to rub it in, it comes off on your fingers. So I did it at least one or two more times, and I thought that worked well. And then I used this one is Hula, which is a I believe it's a it's a bronzing powder. And I really liked it because there's no shimmer in it, so it's perfect. And I really just like to use it as a contour type. The next thing I used um, was this High Beam, also from the Benefit brand. And this is actually supposed to be a luminescent complexion enhancer. So I just put it right underneath my eyes a bit to the corner here. And, you know, under here if you want. But just to add it to the bright places on add, you could probably add it underneath your eyebrows also. Anywhere you want to add a bit of a highlighter, I think High Beam works really well for that. We are now going to talk about our Forever 21 Love and Beauty Eyeshadow Palettes. As you can see, we each used one, so... Yeah, she let me use the eyeshadow notebook, the one with the really nice saying in as the As long mirror. as you don't get used to it. No, I didn't. It won't last forever. But I really liked it. I did too. I guess, as you probably have already seen, the colors are different. Yeah. <laughs> the colors are different. And what I liked about this one is that it also had a blush. So I actually mm. did use a little bit of this one on my cheeks right after I did the... Benetint because I just thought leaving a little extra mm -hmm. and I use the eyeshadow now it to me It was like all my other eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. So it's definitely worth the Consider it, like consider it being cheap or anything like that. I didn't there was no really cheap quality to me It's it yeah. seemed about the same as all the other eyeshadows that I use nothing yeah, really stuck out to me um, I just really like the colors. So. Yeah, it's definitely mm -hmm. I'd say they are good stuff So yeah. if you want are on a budget and you want to save some money go yeah. to forever 21 and get yourself an eyeshadow palette yeah. Now on to the eyeliners that we bought from Ulta last time now We've had experience with this Revlon crayon color stay in black brown because she had it before and I loved the color mm -hmm. And I was like I want my own. So I'm actually I bought this one too. Me too. Okay. Well, I use my own But yeah, yes, we're I'm both wearing, wearing the same color. Mm -hmm. So we're both wearing the black brown crayon and I really liked it. You know, I was still able to put a slight wing, which I like. So it definitely goes on very well. Yeah. Never had any and complaints about that one. Never. Too. So definitely thumbs up on that Except one. Except one time it did break. It's that, one of those I, ones where you sure twist off the top. Yeah, my other one, the black one, did mm. too. Yeah, because but it was in the black. Okay, it was not in the black brown. So, no, but so I was far. just saying with any eyeliners, the crowns that you tend to twist up like that, there will be a chance if you do it too high, it will kind of break as you're doing it. It just kind of flips off. Yeah, so, so be mindful of that. Yeah, and um, I also decided to try the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Black Brown as well because I really like using these to just enhance it and make it more bold and just darken it. And, and it's also it works sometimes really well. it's easier to maneuver your wing if you it have is. that to if you start it with a regular liner, you can at least get an outline done. But this is what really just makes it tip, makes it come together. And actually, there was a difference with this one that I noticed because today was the first day I tried it out, and the actual what do you call this? Wand, the actual tip or wand part of this is actually firm. It's not just a little kind of like a nail polish brush. It's actually strong. And it, it actually, to me, draws a line better. So definitely, I love this one. Two products left to go. We're going to go ahead and start with the mascaras. I know you guys have seen these before. The benefits, of course. We're doing Their Real was the one that I tried out. And I tried the Bad Gal Lash that came in my little sample yes. kit. And I've used this twice now. And I actually really like it. The brush is a bit harder. Like the bristles, you know, sometimes with standard mascara bristles, they're kind of like, you know, they move, just, they, they move well. Can, Those ones yeah. are what, firm? This is one's what more firm, say? yes. And I feel, the one thing I did like about that is I feel like it kept my eyelashes separated. Because sometimes when you're doing your mascara, the eyelashes tend to clump together into one big lash. This seemed to keep it separated a bit more. If you do it a bit slower in that kind of way, it keeps them more separated. But I like it. That was actually really good too. I've used it twice now and... Every time, it just works great. I think it actually really gets all of my lashes and really makes them big. Like That is so, the see, biggest. See, this is a, I don't know if you can see it, this is a big oh brush, okay? And it, you know, you think it would be a little more difficult on the bottom lashes, but it really wasn't. To me, it actually made my lashes look longer and like stand out. And so definitely, wow, I love this brush too. <laughs> this is like the best brush I've ever had. So, I have that. I haven't even looked at it yet. I had no idea that was what was going to come out see, of that. See, I told you guys. <laughs> It's a big oh, brush, man. but definitely so we vote yes. thumbs up for both of these We vote yes. Ready? Last thing, lips. lips. I used the Love & Beauty by Forever 21. I actually used this in the last video too, but I thought since we're reviewing the products we got, I may as well wear it again. And this one is, I still don't know what color it is. I'm sorry, guys. I have no idea. But is it's it mahogany? Dark. 
Mahogany. Maybe. Why did you see that? No, I just I thought it started with an M, so I'm feeling mahogany. It might be mahogany. If if mahogany Maybe. looks like a dark color like this, then that's probably the one. But I like it. I don't notice anything bad about it. It took a little bit longer to kind of apply to get the full color because we put it on it's a bit light at first. So if it's, you know, just keep doing it to get it as dark as you want to do it. If you guys have tried out any of these benefit um, blushes before, you know that they also are good for lip. What do you call them? They lip also stains. Act as lip, a lip, lip, like a lip, like a lip stain. Lip stains, what I'd say. But so I thought I will try this out too, since I'm trying to stick to what I just purchased, and I liked it. I had mm -hmm. it applied a couple times. You probably can't tell that much right now how dark it is, but if you I like I mean, just keep it applying it, and pretty. I liked it. I think it was very nice. You just have to be careful putting it on because you can't just you know rub your lips together and smear it together. I mean, you have to kind of do like a pop kind of thing and then it'll actually stay so that was good I also decided to top it with this dandelion lips lip gloss from benefit and I really I like this because I think it just adds a shine it doesn't really add much color so if there's ever a day where you just feel like you don't really want to wear that much makeup but you want to look like you did or you're going for that mott look which is kind of like that natural no makeup look mm -hmm. then this is a perfect color it's great to go over any of your other lipsticks if you just want to make a shine so basically all the products were good we give them all thumbs up the erase paste or is that was called yeah erase paste. yeah erase paste like i said not quite great coloring in my opinion but it does work as a base for eyeshadow if you're looking for that but other than that, I don't have really any complaints about any of these products. No, I like them all, I mean. But I still recommend, um, you know, everyone's different with their makeup. I still recommend trying them out before you buy the big ones. Always try samples first because everyone's makeup works different for every person. So don't just go from what we said. That's just our first impression. Yes. And thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys found this helpful and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next video. Bye. Bye.